Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and I am on my way home, uh, away from Mexico. I had a beautiful vacation with my family, but I want to provide you guys with another update before I got on a flight and headed home, before going on my next trip to Utah with my company for work. Uh, guys, there's an easy 10X that I'm eyeballing right now. I think it's one of the easiest 10Xs. I, in my mind, in my mind, and I want to make you guys fully aware of it. We've talked about it on the channel before. We're talking about Stacks, guys, the layer two solution for Bitcoin. Now, <clears throat> over the last couple of days while I've been out of town, we've seen Bitcoin make some pretty wild moves. Bitcoin was previously at 74,000, 73 and change, and we've dipped all the way down to $62,000, I think was the low. A very big move to the downside, and I know a lot of people were scared. There were a lot of people panic selling. There were a lot of people taking profit, people that likely bought during the previous all-time highs. And so there's been a lot of fear. There's been a lot of craziness. There's been meme coins rallying like wild. But lately, Stacks has been calm. The Stacks meme tokens, which we've been talking about for the last couple months, which had insane gains, 10, 20x, 50x gains that we caught on this channel, those have cooled off as well. They're starting to turn the other way. They are starting to turn back up. And now what I want to make you guys aware of is this. As Bitcoin has been crashing, just look at what Stacks is doing today. Stacks is up 12% today at the time of this recording. Stacks is actually moving up pretty decently well. It had a, a little bit of a cool off period. Actually, I got my brother, shout out to you, brother. Uh, I got my brother in on Stacks right at about three bucks and it dipped down to two dollars and fifteen cents the very next day That's a classic crypto maneuver. You tell your family about crypto and then all of a sudden it dips But that was a massive liquidation event uh, That was basically the day after Bitcoin hit its high and we had a massive liquidation to the downside about like a Wham bam boom 15% crash and then we kind of came right back up tested new highs uh, and so the name of the game here is patience look what is Stacks? It is the layer two solution for Bitcoin DeFi. If you go and do the research, and I urge you guys, whatever we're telling you on this channel, you got to do your own research. I urge you guys to do your own research, but look at what the Nakamoto upgrade is. Look at what Stacks is and look to see what is the competition for Stacks, right? You got to look at the competition. So you've got Ethereum. What are the Ethereum competitors? You have Solana, you have Avalanche, you have some others out there. Okay, what, are some, what is now, uh, okay, Bitcoin's a competitor to uh, Ethereum and uh, Solana and Avalanche and some of the Ethereum layer two solutions as well. So now we got Bitcoin layer twos. Well, what's the competition to that? Guys, just look, there's really not much. Merlin, which ain't having it. I'm not having any of it. It's way too EVM based. It's not true Bitcoin DeFi like Stacks is. You could make the debate that Stacks is a layer two and so it's not technically inherently just straight up on Bitcoin, but in Bitcoin inherently is not a programmable blockchain like Ethereum. Now with this Nakamoto upgrade, guys, we are going to have four second transactions on Stacks. And I think that's why Stacks is rallying today as the rest of the market is showing weakness. I do believe that Stacks from here, this is a bold strategy. This is a bold statement. I think from this point, from today, which, uh, you know, we're at the end of the month here, is going to start outperforming Solana, Avalanche, some of the others, because Bitcoin itself has a $1.2 trillion market cap, guys. And I do believe that Bitcoin DeFi is going to be the number one narrative. I think that if you've been looking at some of the meme tokens, if you've been looking at stacks and considering buying as you see these red candles, these are the moments when I'm looking to buy most seriously. When the red is here, you buy. When the green is coming along, you take profits on the way up. My partner, Black C, has been doing a great job of that. We've been shuffling some of our profits into lower cap meme coins personally, having a lot of fun making money there. I'm just keeping you guys posted with my plays, but I think that Solana is an easy 10x. Can it go to 30 bucks? It's a no-brainer. It's going to 30 bucks. The question is, can it go to 60? Can it go to $100? And honestly, guys, I think that that's possible as well. I have a bias to the bullish side of things. I have a bullish bias right now. I am still holding. I have not been shuffling profits into cash. But at the end of the day, we just saw a pretty major crash on Bitcoin. And you know what, guys? The Bitcoin halving is just around the corner. The Nakamoto upgrade bringing transaction times on Kronos down to under four seconds. It's coming very soon. And I think that's going to change the winds of excitement in the favor of Bitcoin DeFi. And yes, Solana's still gonna keep ripping, I think. Avalanche is gonna keep ripping. 
I think there's a lot of different ways to make a lot of money in crypto. That's why we started this channel at the beginning of a bear market because this bull market was going to be big. So far, it's been huge, and I think it's about to get even bigger, guys. That's all I got for you in this one, guys. If you've been looking at the memes, I think right now is a great entry potentially potentially on some of these silly memes on stacks and if you want to avoid the memes great buy stacks if you want exposure to the bitcoin DeFi ecosystem but most importantly you have to do your own due diligence folks i'm just keeping you posted with my plays here and where my mind is at on a day-to-day -day basis all right i'm going home guys i will see you in the next one probably have a video for you tomorrow morning from my studio can't wait to get home for a second and then i'll see you on the ski slopes of Utah. That's all I got in this one, guys. I am Crypto Kip. This is a Crypto Report. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, folks, don't forget to DCA. Hodo, I think I just said that. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Two videos here if you want to check them out. Peace, y'all.